Spinal muscular atrophy, or SMA, is a rare degenerative muscle disease. Patients are missing the nerve cells in the spine that tells their muscles to move. Until now, doctors could only treat the symptoms. But a recently approved drug and a new delivery system are giving people hope. Sean Stewart was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy when he was three. I was walking until the age of 13. I had a, I broke my leg at that age. Um, after that, I was no, no longer able to walk. He lost function in his arms, yeah, legs, and back. Just one. breathing yeah. became difficult. For more than 45 years, doctors only treated his symptoms. Then in 2016, the FDA approved Spinraza, a drug that increases production of the SMN protein needed for muscle control. I've had patients that had no arm function and can now move their arms. I have had patients that were ventilated, couldn't breathe on their own, they can now breathe. The problem was that many SMA patients like Sean have had spinal fusion. Giving the drug through a spinal tap three times a year was painful and potentially dangerous. So Dr. Mahonen came up with this. There is a port that allows me to inject the spinraza and there is a tube that has 20 holes on the tip of it. This tube will go into the spinal fluid. So the port looks really good. I don't see any signs of infection. It's nice and clean. It makes the injection so easy. It takes about five or 10 minutes to get the injections and I'm able to do that sitting up in my wheelchair. Sean says in a year and a half on Spinraza, his breathing and speech have improved. And since Dr. Mahonen's port simplifies drug delivery, he has high hopes for the future. A company in Boston is working on improvements to Dr. Mahonen's port right now. He believes delivering the drug in the upper body and having it drip down through the spine will prove to be more effective than having the drug move up from a lumbar puncture.